Hi, this is Jessica DeMassa, and I'm here at the Guidewell Insights Lounge here at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine 2017. I am joined by Naveen Jain, and he is the founder and CEO of a company called Viome, which we're going to talk about in great detail in a minute, but I also want to mention that he is the founder and executive chairman for a company called Moon Express, which I think we're going to have to also dip into, and he's also on the board for Singularity University. So Naveen, welcome. Thank well, you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. I I love your energy and I love all the energy that you had on stage, so thank you so much for bringing that to the lounge. I want to jump in right away and talk about Viome because uh, if you haven't checked out the website for this company, you really need to because this is all about getting your microbiome basically mapped. So tell me a little bit about Viome and I really want to know about gut intelligence and metabolic intelligence, what those are and why I need it. Yes. So first thing is we started Viome.com for a simple goal that what if we can create a world where chronic illness is actually a matter of choice, not a matter of bad luck. There is no reason for any one of us ever to have a chronic illness, whether it is a Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer, or autism, or depression, or anxiety, or obesity, or diabetes, or autoimmune diseases, IBS, IBD, you name it, <laughs> auto, you know, MS, every one of these diseases are directly influenced by our microbiome. So people somehow believe it's their genes, their destiny is written in their genes. What people don't realize is our human DNA only produces 19,000 genes. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. And our microbiomes, which are trillions of microbiome inside our gut, inside our body, they produce anywhere between 5 million to 10 million genes. Now imagine okay. who's controlling who? These microbiome not only are directly connected to our brain using the vagus nerve and it uses the new, uh, neurotransmitters such as cortisol to pass the information back and forth. So remember when your mother says, listen to your gut, do a <laughs> gut check, she was the, actually the scientist. Even the Eastern philosophy, they talk about that how the life emanates from the gut, right? It talks about the life comes from here, yeah, right? So interesting thing is, Every single time when we take any of the traditional medicine, we completely ignore our microbiome. And when you ignore the microbiome, you're ignoring the largest organ in the body. You're calling it an organ? Yeah, largest organ That's in the body. That's the first time I've heard that. And now imagine what happens. When you have the imbalance of microbiome, your body is not at ease. When you have uneased body, what do you get? You get dis-ease. This is what's called disease, right? So this chronic disease can absolutely be prevented. And you don't have to take my word for it. Just Google and you will see in the last three years, there's every scientific research that's showing not only the microbiome are influencing cancer, whether the last month, there were several science papers that were published that says even the cure for cancer whether it's a chemotherapy yeah. or immunotherapy, whether it works or does not work actually depends on your microbiome. In fact, just yesterday there was a research that shows that when you take chemotherapy and if you have a certain set of microorganisms in your gut, mm -hmm. it's going to convert them into a poison and you are absolutely wow. guaranteed to die. Right. So imagine that not only they are causing it, they actually depend on uh, whether you get cured or not. Diabetes, metformin it actually impacts your microbiome. When you fast, it impacts your microbiome. So what if you can simply modulate your microbiome without taking any drugs and simply take the right food? So how does a, how does a healthcare yeah. consumer, yeah. just your average person on the street, how, how do I know what my, my, what my microbiome exactly. is doing and how can I control it? That's exactly why we started Viome. So what we do is we send you a kit at home and that kit the one is called gut intelligence. All we need is a touch of your stool and you send it to us and then we map every transcripts, every single thing microbiome sure. in your gut. I mean every bacteria, every virus, yeast, fungus, mold, not just genus, every strain. And then we look at how active they are. And what's most importantly, we look at what they are doing. Are they producing the short chain fatty acid? Are they producing the vitamins? Are they producing the nutrients that our body yeah. needs, right? And then we look at the host side, 
how does your body digest carbs, protein, and fat? Okay. And then we apply. Is that the metabolic side? Metabolic okay. side. Okay. Okay. And then we apply the artificial intelligence, and then we can make very specific recommendations that you get your results and recommendations right on your iPhone. Oh wow! Okay. Right? And we tell you very specifically. For me, for example, it says don't eat spinach, don't eat avocado, and you can eat everything else. Oh my God, right? that would be devastating to me, right. honestly. <laughs> so guess what? All I was doing was eating spinach, avocado. I'm a vegetarian. I was trying to lose weight, and I was pre-diabetic. Everyone told me cut down all the carbs, don't eat, you know, and start eating spinach, avocado, lentil, legumes, yeah. tofu. When I did my own test, it says most of your diet needs to be complex carbohydrates really yeah. and little protein little fat and by the way avoid spinach avoid avocado don't eat lentil legumes and tofu how do you feel now that you've made okay. that switch so not only i lost five pounds my blood glucose came down mm. and by the way i have more energy now than i have ever had which is unbelievable because you are very energetic and you were energetic last year when we spoke right. to you <laughs> so i really think that to some extent imagine if every consumer sure. can do this and by the way these things used to cost several thousand dollars yeah the technology that we got it came out of Los Alamos National Lab. Okay. Believe it or not, it was done for the national security for the biodefense world. Really? Okay. So they spent hundreds of millions of dollars developing this. We have the exclusive license and we are able to offer this to consumer directly for $399, period. Yeah. Right. And we are offering a discount at the Exponential Medicine for $349. Okay. You can do it at home. No doctor is needed. And by the way, you are empowered now. So let me ask you a question. So I am empowered yeah. and, and, and I'm going to take my test results. Yeah. And then how, how do you see the established healthcare system taking this in? Just, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, as much, as, as much information as I'm going to get from you yeah. on this you know, yeah. sexy new technology yeah. that you have, and I'm going to know all about my microbiome and I'm going to want to change it, eventually I'm going to get sick or something and I'm going to have to go to the doctor. And what's my physician going to do with this information? So interesting thing How is, are they accepting it? So what do you think? The interesting thing is we tell you exactly what to do. So we don't just give you the information and say, good luck. We tell you exactly mm -hmm. what to do about it so you don't get sick. As you can imagine, our healthcare system has become so big that it's become like an organism. And the Darwinian theory has taken hold. That means all it cares about the survival of itself rather than the purpose that it was designed to do. The patient wow. is no longer the stakeholder in the system. The pharmaceutical companies have become the parasite on humanity. They want to keep the people sick. They love the chronic diseases because all they do is suppress the symptom and every time they suppress one symptom, they cause four more. Now, guess what? They have a drug for each one of them, right? So imagine what if a consumer, a patient, not only knows what's going on, they can, be, they can become the CEO of their own health. Yes. What if they don't feel helpless when they are sick? Because when you're helpless, you're going to be victimized. Today we are being victimized by the healthcare system. What if that never used to happen? You and I know a lot of people who suffer from chronic diseases. What if that never had to happen? And well, that's fantastic. And it's such a promising future that you outline. It really is. And I want to, as we wrap up here, I want to just hear one second about Moon Express. So, t so we're going from the deepest, yeah. tiniest microorganisms in our yeah. guts to the moon. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> There's a galaxy of things inside us and oh, the beautiful. galaxy of the stars <laughs> outside us. And our goal really is not only to land on the moon for the pleasure of it, we need to save the humanity from potential extinction so we can take humans and allow them to live on the moon, the Mars, and Titan, and Europa, and everywhere else. So someday, when our spacecraft called Planet Earth gets hit by an asteroid, or we destroy We're it ourselves, <laughs> we are actually distributed. You don't want to be a dinosaur, right. right? Because if you remember every dinosaur rolling in their grave, they're thinking if they had one good entrepreneurial dinosaur, they'll be roaming on the moon and the Mars, right? Didn't happen for I them. I love that. One entrepreneurial dinosaur, that's all it takes. Well, Naveen, thank you so much again for joining us in the Insights Lounge. It's always just so exciting to hear what you're working on and to really just feel your excitement for it. I'm Jessica DeMassa. Thank you again for joining us thank here. You. Exponential Medicine 2017 is uh, brought to you by Singularity University. And you're watching us from the Guidewell Insights Lounge. Thanks so much. Thank you.